Welcome to this episode. Today, we're going to talk about the thing that haunts us all at some point in our life, and maybe it's dogging you right now, but what it is, is negative self-talk. It's that little voice that creeps up inside your head that tells you, you can't, you shouldn't, what happens if. It's that limiting belief that creeps up, that just clouds our mind, it clouds our motivation, and it clouds the path in, in front of us. And it happens to all of us. So if it's happening to you, don't feel bad about it. Everybody goes through this, either on a long haul or in those small doses that tend to knock us off of the path to success that we're going down. It's that limiting belief that makes you not want to achieve something, that makes you hesitate on what you're trying to do. And it is the most detrimental thing in the entire world. You can take all the internet trolls, you can take all the family members, you can take all the external doubters you want. None of them, even combined, are as powerful or as negative as the voice that we tell ourselves. So that little internal voice is going to knock you off of your path more than anybody else ever will. So how do we battle it? How do we battle that negative self-talk in those, those times where we feel like we're going down the right path and then something happens and it shifts us the wrong way and gets us off that path? The number one thing you can do is start journaling when you have those moments. Start thinking about what happens prior to you having that voice. Is it a certain individual, a certain situation, a certain thought, a certain goal that you want to achieve that all of a sudden you're talking yourself out of because you don't think you can achieve it. I promise you, any goal that you want to achieve, if you put that positive self-talk in and a plan, you can achieve anything. And even if you don't achieve it, you're going to learn something about yourself. And you're going to grow exponentially throughout the process. Another thing you can do is really edit and curate the people that are around you. It's really important that you surround yourself with other people that are positive self-talkers and or people that are vulnerable enough to know when they're having those struggles, that they can voice their support for you and you can do that for them. It creates this positive environment that you can surround yourself so that you're insulating yourself from those that negative self-talk that'll creep up. A group that's not gonna necessarily blow sh sunshine, but give you their honest feedback on why you should continue, why you should take that risk, why you should make that change. They're going to give you that honest feedback because they truly care about you. And third, whatever you're trying to pursue, if that negative voice is creeping up, start shortening the goals. Start, instead of saying, I want to go do this, or I want to go achieve this kind of financial gain, or I want to lose this kind of weight, or I want to do these big things. That's when that, that doubt creeps in. Because if you feel yourself standing at the bottom of a mountain and looking up at the top of the mountain, that's a very daunting task. Same thing with big goals. If we think about our big goals, they become very overwhelming because we feel like there's a long road ahead. It's going to be tough and we can't see the progress. And so we'd rather stand still than actually make any kind of momentum or progress towards that goal. So start shortening your milestones. Get in, get in the little small, even if it's one foot. So if you if you need to get out and go running, take two steps. Get two steps going, get four steps going. Don't think about running five miles, think about running four steps. The minute you run those four steps, that momentum and that psychological build will kick in and it'll make you wanna keep going. Or if it's a project that you've been putting off, Set a timer for five minutes, set a timer for 10 minutes, get in and do it, start working on the project. And I promise you when that timer goes off, you're gonna have some momentum built and you're gonna wanna continue down that path to get the, the job or the project or whatever you're trying to work on complete because you've built the psychological momentum. But whatever you do, do everything you can to limit that negative self-talk. 